What is up guys, it's finally time to show y'all guys how to put that LC2 and get that system put in the car. So let's do it. Alright, first things first, I'm going to show you where I ran the wire through, which should be the easy, easiest thing to do. Before I do that, check that tech flex I just installed on the wires. It's basically like a, a sleeve that goes over the wire, makes it look a little bit nicer. And it's this stuff right here. I will put everything down in the description if you guys would like to order some. You know, this is for the zero gauge. Same thing as, uh, I got the four gauge here. Same color, blue and black. Same thing with the black for the zero gauge. And basically, you, uh, you also buy the heat shrinks. And these are from Sky High Car Audio. Which I should go with it. And it looks freaking sick. I like it. Check it out. I already knocked out two of them. And it was speaking of that, also I'm going to show you what I did with the big three. Because that was another question I was asked. So, to start off, one of my grounds, this one right here, it goes to the actual body, right here. Sand the paint down, of course. You gotta make sure you do that. I gotta do the one with the, uh, in, that goes to the engine block, but I'll show you, it goes from here, all the way to the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. To the back there, that's number two. I haven't ran the wire yet for the alternator, which is this one right here in the back. Because I'm waiting for it to come in. Once it comes in, it's actually going to have a, a power wire, which would be number three. It goes from there to the back, zip tight, make it look all nice to the positive side. But also, it's going to have a negative. So, actually, it's going to be a four, big four upgrade, negative to the battery. I'm going to have two runs going to the back. That's why I got this uh, fuse block right here. I have one right now, of course, as you can see. Exactly, like I said, waiting on more wire. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and show you where I ran mine. So, it goes from the battery, go down, you know, you can't see that part, but if you look, see if I can, I gotta still clean up some of this wire behind here, see if you can see, see if you guys can see where it ran. Da, 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 da. I don't think you can from here. So, let's go on the inside to show you better, better where that goes through. So next to the steering column, I believe I said this in a couple of my other videos, but since we are talking about that, as you can see the wire going up, there is a piece right by the firewall next to the steering column where you can see right there, there's an opening where I put the zero gauge to that. If you guys are not using zero gauge, anything below that you know it will fit since this one is zero gauge. And while you're doing that, you might as well run a power and a ground wire, which I will talk about later on. Why is that needed? Since you're going to be here already, you might as well run that. And of course, run down these panels, which easily pops off. Just pop it up, pop it off, continue that down, pull this carpet back, or if you can pull this panel too, but I find it easier doing the carpet. Doing the same thing behind here. You will pull this, before you pull this one, one thing you gotta know, you have to remove this back seat first, because there's, there's an actual clip down here, and you don't want to break it. So the way you do that, there is a latch down here, the pull right here. You pull that towards you, lift it up. As you can see, there's two of them, one on this side, one on the other side. And once you do that, you'll be able to remove this bench. Take that off and expose the clip that's underneath here. That way you can pop it off, run the wire underneath that and go straight to the trunk. All right. All right, once you come back here, the wire will come through here, come out, and of course hooked up either to your amp, but in my case I have a secondary battery, and I hooked it up straight here, and then from here it goes to the amp. But in your case, most likely it'll be straight to your amp, wherever you want to position it or mount it, behind the seats or on top, or anything else. Same thing with the ground, you'll basically pull this back, you know, find a good point back there, like that point up there. Make sure you guys sand the paint down, just like I said before, ground that wire down and you should be good to go as far as wiring so now let's get to the fun part okay right, i'm going to give you guys a rundown of what the hell this is and what can we do with it as far as integrating the factory radio to get some output for your aftermarket system so basically you got here is the lc2 has speaker inputs on the top left and right you got your remote out in your 12 volt and your ground and of course you got two channels, just main output, which is your full. As far as like 
door speakers, stuff like that. So that's what you use that channel for. And your base output. Well, this is like your main sub channel. So for the ones that are just using it for the sub, the only one you got to worry about is this one up here. But if you are integrating a two channel or four channel, well, really it's a two channel, you would use the main output. So if it's, like I said, just the base, worry about this only. Don't worry about anything else on top. Also, what's awesome about this system that I love and what a lot of people are forgetting, this, this does have the GTO system, which is a signal sensing turn on. And what that means, with this right here, you actually don't need the um, remote in if that if that uh, thing is active or enabled, which it is here, as you can see. This little thing right here is basically, it's on enable mode. And you can pop that out also and put it on the bypass mode, which is this right here. I'll show you. So I can do it. It pops out. It's basically like a jumper. As you can see, it comes out. You'll be able to take this out and then flip it to the other side. That way you can have your own bypass mode. But in this sense, we're going to leave it on. Like I said, it's the best way to do it so you have less wires running to the front or wherever you're going to have your accessory switch or your actual switch itself. And what that does, when the radio turns on, as in the factory radio, when it sends signal to the speakers, that same power will basically turn this on. And you won't have to wor uh, worry about putting a remote in and just have your remote out, which is going to your amp. Of course, your 12 volt you will have and your ground. So let's go ahead and hook it up and show you how easy it is. All right, starting off with my stuff, as I, you guys know, previous videos I showed you I have the LCA, which is the bigger brother of the LC2, only because I have multiple amps. It's basically the same thing, more channels, more shit to mess with, but this one I actually have it hooked up to the radio. And um, the way I have it hooked up is with, with the wire that's called the Nikon. It has all eight speakers, which is the two front, two rear. That's a total of eight wires plus one, which is the remote turn on, which I, like I said, I don't utilize as you can see here. The remote in, I don't have nothing in there and it completely still works, still turns on. And that's one way you can do it. Like I said, use it from the head unit if you feel like taking all that mess out and doing all that. But I know on the sports, which this is not, you guys will get your power from the rear speakers. As you can see, I have all that sealed up and I will have everything down in the description of which color is which and what's what. And you're basically going to be tapping into those wires, running into the LC2, which would go, of course, using the left and right, left side of the speaker, positive and negative, right side of the speaker, positive and negative, hooked up to this. That part will be done. Now, as far as the everybody else, SEO and down, I would suggest getting it from the back door. You guys look at my video of how to remove the back doors and speakers. Once you do that, you would have to hook up your speaker wires and run them through the boot that's right here. Real simple to take off. You just push it to the side, run it through there, push this to the side, and you can remove this thing, just pull it down, and now it'll come off. And like run a wire up here. Same thing as you do with the sports, and you just mount your uh, LC2 either on top or wherever you want to, inside your box, wherever you want to put it. Same thing as the uh, sport, left side, speaker, right side and that that's that part so I'm gonna use my brother's F-150 to show you the same concept it's gonna be the same thing as far as the fusion since I already have mine on mine I didn't feel like taking all that apart to show you how, so I'm gonna do it on his same thing I labeled everything so first things first let's go in here to hook up the uh, speaker inputs I got this left one here let's take this off so on here white I guess the, the wire with the whites, the negative, and the solids positive. So we're going to go ahead and hook these up. In the speaker inputs, like so. Let's see if I can get those in. Alright, those are already in. Just got to turn it down. And I'm going to do the same thing with the right. Alright, now that I got that, those speaker inputs hooked up this is ready to go as far as that part now we're going to hook up the ground and power this is the ground right here and the power is next to this ground it would make it a little bit easier if i had different colored 
wire, but this time we're just fuck it, just throw it all together. That's what we got at the moment. Put it on. And now I know guys, this is a clusterfuck back here with all this crap back here. We're gonna fix that in one of my upcoming videos. Show you guys how to make a little rack for that and make it look all nice. And then the power. Ugh, I have to restrip this one. I didn't take care of this. All right, so I got those two in, as you can see. Ground, your power wire, and the speaker inputs. And just to prove to you guys, I pulled these crossovers out from the uh, panels that we had back here, where I had them hidden. This is directly to the uh, the source, which is the, the speaker wire from the factory radio. This is coming towards the LC2, which are these right here connected to this. It's pretty simple. I don't want to lose you guys. Now this this setup does have two amps. I have the base amp and the four and the two channel, but I'm not gonna do the two channel. I'm just gonna keep it where the base amp, so I don't lose you guys. So the last thing left to do here is connect the, the wire to the remote out, which is going to the amps. And you can see right now nothing's turned on. So I can prove to you this works with the GTO system. And let me go ahead and hook these up. All right, so now I got everything hooked up. Just to prove to you guys, I have nothing on the remote in. It's completely empty. And it's still saying that it's not it's not turned on because otherwise the light will be on. So let me go ahead and turn the truck on. Put on the on switch, you can see it turns on. Alright, here it goes. See, so you, as you can see, now we have power. So as 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 the as immediately as it's, it recognizes the signal, the LC2 is on and also the amps are on. So let me put this down so I can prove to you guys. So you can see we got light. On the amp showing that it is turned on so that right there will save you a lot of time like I said so you don't have to run a new remote into accessory but if you guys like I said don't feel like having it that way and you want to do it by a switch via switch or an accessory wire yourself like I said all you gotta do is pull that pull that little jumper off and put on the other one which disables the uh, GTO system but like I said it's a big feature which I love in the LC2 and one thing left now to do is tune it, hook up your RCAs, and uh, tune your system if you guys have a DD1 or if not, uh, you know, try to tune it as best as you can by ear. But like I said, try to get a DD1 or something like that or anything similar to that. Match your uh, signal, your voltage from here, the LC2 to your amp, and that's basically it, guys. Let me go ahead and hook it all up so I can prove to y'all that it works. All right, I got everything hooked up, and to prove to y'all, here we go. I'll put the music up and then get the bass going. And that is it guys hopefully this video helped out and finally get that system put in your car the easy way like i said it's not only for the ford fusion or the f-150 this can be used in any application of any vehicle just follow the same step as far as finding which uh speaker wire you guys need to use as far as your left and your right channel and that's pretty much it hook it up to the lc2 run the wires the way we did it um and like i said tune your stuff and that's pretty much it guys so, like I said, we got big stuff coming up. Um, be prepared, because like I said, this is the first part of the beginning of the beast. So, until next time, guys, because base, signing up.